Yes, greetings, 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 family. How you doing? It's King Simon. Let me put on my, my glasses here because this is computer work. <laughs> this is computer work. Got to have all my shades here. Let me turn down this. I don't want them to throw this off the line. Also, what's up, family? What's up, family? This is King Simon. How you doing? Welcome to Stats. Yes, right. Serious thinking, serious thoughts, awaken critical thinking show with King Simon. Serious thinking, awaken serious thoughts awaken critical thinking with king simon right here on wednesday it is now 54 minutes after the hour of seven o'clock in new york city and we're going to have we're going to be speaking with a great sister somebody i've seen grown in this business of health in her spiritual life coaching life and also as a holistic health consultant i've seen her grow and i can't wait to have her on I want to big up all the people that's starting to log on. Keisha Blount, my cousin, Tony Walters. What's up, sir? How are you? Long time no see. And of course, we have a great, great person coming up. But I got to, it's like five minutes before the top of the hour, five minutes before eight o'clock. <clears throat> Let me drink some of my water. Uh, wait, I'm, I ran out of water. I'll take the dregs. But uh, very important that I big up some of the events that's coming up. Uh, September the 3rd. September the 3rd, guess what? I will be in Atlanta, Georgia. That's right, Tony. I'll be in Atlanta, Georgia uh, at the Cool Breeze Stone Mountain, in Stone Mountain. That's 961 Main Street. I will be at, in Atlanta, Georgia. What's up? What's up, Miss Jones? How you doing? I will be in your area, Miss Jones. So make sure you come out at the Cool Breeze at uh, 961 Main Street, Stone Mountain, Georgia. What's up, Katrina? And oh, if you want to RSVP, if you want to RSVP, call them now, 678-713-4377. I will be in Atlanta, Georgia, September 3rd. September 3rd, Numbers Don't Lie, Mini Workshop, Numerologics Health. My, my son will be speaking on wealth building and money management. So I will be in Atlanta, Georgia at the Cool Breeze Smoothie and Juice Bar with my son, Shia Brown. And we're going to be live and direct over there. Stop it, right? Right? Yeah, I'll be there, girl. I'll be there. Make sure you come on over. It's $10 in advance if you RSVP now at 678-713-4377, and it's $20 at the door. So make sure I'll have my books. I'll have DVDs. I'm giving out all free DVDs with everybody that purchased any books or any T-shirt that I have. Everybody get a free DVD. If you want to just buy the DVDs, it's $5 uh, for them. You, you buy four, you get one for free. But I'm telling you, I will be there inside Atlanta, Georgia. Also in North Carolina, September 9th, I'm coming to you, North Carolina. I'm coming to you, North Carolina. That's right, all eyes on Egypt and September 9th, that's Saturday, September 9th, speaking on numbers don't lie again, mini workshop, overstanding how to use simple numerologics in health, relationship, and business. Also, I'll be doing a brief uh, emergency and management thing, how to deal with emergencies and what to carry with you briefly. I'll be doing that in North Carolina at the All Eyes in Egypt bookstore. That's Charlotte, North Carolina, 1107-B, Bettysford at, uh, Road in Washington Heights, North Carolina. To RSVP for those $10 tickets, it's four, from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m., the $10 tickets, uh, and then it's $15 at the door. You can call 704-953-953. 3956. That's 704-953-3956. Uh, that's 704-953-3956. North Carolina, I will be in the building. Just want to remind you, it's two minutes before we get to call our good friend, Mama Ella Samori in the building. Just want to remind you on September 24th, we're doing a tribute to Baba Heru, the unk man himself. That's right. It's a tribute to our elder and keeper of our ancient comedic legacy, Baba Heru Ankh. Ra Samad Sepenta, Baba Heru, the Unk Man. Many will be there to show love and respect and honor to him. Queen of Four, Brother Jabari, the Temple of Anu, uh, Yendez, Nefer Atum, and also Dr. Anika will be also there. $20 in advance and $25 at the day of the show. And that's going to be at the Black Lady Theater. You want to be there. You want to be there. That's 750 
um, Nostrand Avenue. You can call them for tickets. That's 718-771-0900. That's 718-771-0900. Or you can go to Nicholas Brooklyn or Nicholas Harlem for tickets. That's 718-858-4400. That's Nicholas Brooklyn. Nicholas Harlem is 212 212- Two eight nine three six two eight. So make sure you call them. Also, in the month of October, we got Baba Phil Valentine. Tickets are also available at Nicholas right now. No tickets are sold at the door. It's $35 in advance, $45 the week before. There's no tickets sold at the door. So make sure you get the tickets. And if you want to vend, please. Call me at 347-496-1022. That's 347-496-1022. Also, in the month of November, we have Dr. Layla Africa and Dr. Melody Stevens, him, wife, husband and wife team coming in town November the 12th. November the 12th, Dr. Africa will be doing a classroom setting. So make sure you come and make sure you buy your tickets and call me 347-496-1029 for, uh, for those information. That's 347-496-1022 for that information. And don't forget, we will be at the Black Power Awards. The Black Power Awards will be inside Atlanta, Georgia, and they're doing a tribute to Rakim Allah, the one, the only from Eric B. and Rakim. That's November 17th through the 19th. They're going to have workshops, seminars, all kinds of stuff going on. Black Power Convention. It's going to be a Black Power after party Friday and Saturday, ceremony, obstacle course, martial arts training, all of that. If you want to find out further information about the Black Power Awards, please call 404 404- Four three nine one zero four four. That's four zero four four three nine. 1044. And in the month of December, I'm bringing Ashra Kwesi coming back to town. Ashra Kwesi, Baba Ashra Kwesi will be in town. Now, let me call my sister so we can get it started right here on my show, right here on the place could be called Facebook Live. So let's find out where my sister's at so we can have a good time with her and talk to her about her spiritual movements and her growth. Let's see where our sister's at. How y'all doing, people? Tuning in from all over the world. I'm happy that y'all here. Happy that y'all here. It's all about spiritual growth and understanding. Where's my sister at? Where's my sister at? You have reached Pajala Samori. What? She was just and 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 detailed. She gave, no, 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 I know she ain't. She ain't. She, she, she got to get back on that phone. Stop playing. Come on, girl. What you doing? <laughs> yeah, it's what, What's up? What's up, sister? How you doing? Peace. I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Wait, can I go on live too? Or uh, I, I mean, not go on live. Can I look at you on a live too? Or no, it's going to mess up. No, nah, I mean, if you're looking on, on your computers, all right. But, uh, you know, we cool. I'm doing over the, I'm doing a voice. I'm doing your voice right now. So, you know, it's up to you. <laughs> you can look at me. Oh, on, hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would like to look at you. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> Girl, stop playing. <laughs> Stop. Stop. I mean, so wait, we're we're all we're already on. Yes, because I've been promoting. Then I called you and then put you on now. We're on now with the audience, ma'am. Oh, 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 oh wait, wait, wait! I gotta get myself together. Okay, all right, okay. Let me uh, get the recording going on this side, um, and then take a look at you so I can see what's going on. I'm glad that you, you know, you invited me on to your platform. Sure. And you're doing a beautiful thing with promoting everything always and forever. So shout out to you as well. Thank you very much. Uh, let me see. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Uh, so it's a beautiful Wednesday. Yes, it is. It's a beautiful Wednesday, the 23rd. Yes, we are. It's a beautiful day. And, uh, you know, well, I, I first, first and foremost, I want to thank you for uh, uh, accepting to be on my, my platform right here. Mm-hmm. On, yeah, I see. I see you just joined in. So I see I see your name just popped yeah, up. Yeah, I, I just joined in, but the, the sound is going to clash. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I understand. Don't worry about it. But, yeah, you have to turn it down, yeah, so you don't clash because there's, like, a, a delay going on, okay? Okay, yes, yes. So... Um, you know, first, you know, I, I just told people that uh, the person like you, I've seen you go through your growth as far as into the holistic health and the spiritual life coach. And of course, being a spiritual destiny reader and guide, you know, which is very interesting. And a lot of people don't understand. Big up to Malika Ali, who just toned in. What's up, Malika? Big up to you all the time. Another person I wanted to get on, you know. Oh, yes, my sister. <laughs> yeah, your sister. Yes, my That's sister. right. But, you know, um, first and foremost, tell people where people can find you on YouTube and your website, please, before we get it. 
Okay, well, everything is going to be under construction except for, um, well, no, not everything is going to be under construction. The only thing that's going to be under construction is my website. Okay. But my website, my current website is samoriesherbs.com, mm -hmm. spelled S-A-M-O-R-Y-S, herbs, H-E-R-B-S. Now, the reason why my website is Samori Herbs, because at one point, I was, remember when I was getting um, herbs from the motherland and things of that nature from yes. Senegal and yeah. stuff like that. So at one particular point, I was, um, you know, traveling internationally and getting herbs. So that was the main thing that I was selling herbs. Right. So now that I'm expanding, yes. I don't think that Samori's Herbs um suits me right? right so i'm trying to change a little bit that the name the word in and play around okay. with that okay however um my youtube is ella samori the same as my um mm -hmm. facebook uh you know name and mm -hmm. on my instagram is nutritional healing mm -hmm. i tend to uh you know share both the spiritual stuff and the nutritional stuff on my instagram which is nutritional healing again okay Okay, that's good. Mm -hmm. That's good. I'm, I'm glad that you're here. Nutritional Healing on Instagram, Ella Samori on YouTube, and SamoriesHerb.com. Yes. And of course, you say you're going to play with that and change it around because you're expanding right. and growing. And I totally understand, girl, as we mm -hmm. all should expand and grow, especially in the times that we're in. And, you know, I wanted to let people know that you have been through a journey. And please ex mm -hmm. explain to the audience what type of journey you've been to to get to this point it is now five minutes after the hour of eight o'clock in new york city five minutes after the mm -hmm. hour of five o'clock in the pacific time yes please okay well i mean it, it was it for me the the one of the main or the way i got to where i got to was just believing in myself right. i was going through and dealing with um a particular guy who i thought i was going to be with forever <laughs> and he no seriously he actually turned a uh, vegetarian wow. and at that time i was not into no vegetarianism whatsoever hold on is this um live thing because i hear an echo no it's all right it's live don't worry go ahead keep on go, go ahead, okay keep no on. i thought it was on my phone so i you know try to cut it off but anyhow mm. you know i was dealing with a brother that was you know turning into vegetarianism and things of that nature and at one point because i hear an echo for the five minutes it's all right Do don't worry just, just don't worry you're good you're good just, uh, that's, it's just the okay. echo coming back that's all you all right okay so anyhow, you know, he tried to change, you know, he tried to tell me, you know, get into vegetarianism. You know, I'm like, listen, I'm not getting into no vegetarianism. I like my meat. <laughs> you know, you can't change me whatsoever. I don't care. Mm -hmm. So eventually one day I seen the transformation of how he was looking, you know, how his aura, his skin was clearing up and things like that. So I said to myself, I said, you know, I'm a I said, what do you have to lose? I mm -hmm. said, if you eat meat, you know, if you don't eat meat versus if you eat meat, what do you have to lose? Right. Why don't you try it? And that was back in 2008. Okay. So ever since 2008, I stopped eating flesh, right? Mm. So, you know, my, my, you know, my skin started clearing up. Yes, I lost a lot of weight. Okay. Mm -hmm. I lost like tremendous amount of weight. I don't know how much it was because I wasn't paying attention, but I lost a lot of weight. Mm -hmm. However, um, as a result of not eating meat, I started to like find myself a little bit more like, oh, okay, you're not eating meat. You're feeling kind of good. Let's go sit by the water a little bit, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. um, let's, 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 let's play with these crystals. Let's go into this crystal store. So for me, my experience in a sense, like my awakening, you know, my awakening first started when I got off of the flesh. Right. As a result of getting off of the flesh, I started to become more calm, mm -hmm. more spiritual, more in tune with myself. I started believing in myself. Mm -hmm. So me and a brother, you know, we went through our separation. Mm -hmm. And at that particular time, because I'm a Pisces in a sense, um, for me, things don't hit me right then and there. Things hit me a little bit, you know, um, further down the line. Mm -hmm. However, as I was going through the separation with me and his brother, mm -hmm. um, I started dreaming, mm -hmm. you know, a lot, lots of different dreams and stuff. So I was writing things down, everything, writing things down, writing things down and whatnot. 
Um, and then to this day, the things that I was writing down are now coming true. Mm. You mm. hear what I'm saying? A mm. lot, of, a lot of me healing people. I used to write about, oh, I'm going to heal the world. Mm. Oh, please, put, you know, I used to write letters to the, you know, the different solar systems, the uh, Jupiter, Venus. You know what I'm saying? Mars. And all, I used to write letters mm -hmm. to the cosmic realm. Mm -hmm. And um, a lot of the things that I used to, uh, how can I say, um, see or, for, or foresee or whatnot, they're now coming true. Um, so I used to just, you know, as a result of separating from, because every time you, anytime you separate from mm -hmm. a lover or stuff like that, you always go within. It's time for you to get, you know, get your things together. You know, I need to get myself together. <laughs> right, right, right. Get everybody, <laughs> you know, it's all about me. And, you know, so, so I was going through that thing of, you know, forget him, it's all about me. Once I started saying forget him, it's all about me, that the God in me started to rise. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it started with me. It started with my dreams. As a result of things now, you know, well, not even now, before it was coming true. Um, but as a result of things coming to the light, um, I just started believing in myself and I started thanking myself or rather activating the the uh the spiritualist in me or the god in me or the psychic in me mm. okay um mm. and so now i'm here that's right <laughs> now, now, now the, the, i find that very interesting because yes you are pisces and you know when i you know both of us are we do consultations for people and when i hear of the pisces energy being there pisces dealing with the water a lot of water and that yeah. deals with intuition a lot of intuition and then you being yeah. born on a certain number tells me that you know you're supposed to be into healing because you have you're a natural healer. You're definitely mm -hmm. a natural healer. Also, when you said you were born on uh you you went through this in 2008, you 2008, you was in a number four year, which deals with getting mm -hmm. yourself together and laying a foundation for yourself. And it's it was a critical health year, so you changed a lot. Mm -hmm. So it deals with dr those type of drastic changes going on. But you know, I know this also comes from something in your ancestry too because your your family from haiti and, the, and, and which part of africa also where, 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 where your family from and my, and, my, and my father is from congo see and see and, and they, they have some deep spiritual roots now tell us about Absolutely. that combination my mom, please mom first of all first of all my mother's psychic but mm. she won't tell you that she's psychic <laughs> because not. she's she's not going to admit that you know right, what? she's right, not right. going to admit that because she for her as a Libra, she don't want no problems with yeah, people. Yes. She don't want she don't want to be telling people about themselves and people are looking for you get what I'm saying? Yes. Looking, oh, the person yeah. told me this, the person yeah. told me that. So when I do the readings, my mom be like, Hey, you gotta be careful because mm -hmm. people really look for what you really say. That's true. But the thing about it is the thing about it is it's not about looking for what somebody really says is guidance. Mm. You got to take that information and you got to take it for what it is. Exactly. And you got to make the best of what somebody is telling you, rather spiritually, physically, or mentally, whatever the situation is. So I always say, don't never, you know, but regardless, whatever this, um, besides the fact, yes, um, my mother is um, psychic. Yes, my family, I come from a bloodline of um, psychics and things of that nature. Mm -hmm. um, at the age of 13 years old is mm -hmm. when I seen my first spirit, mm -hmm. which was my uh, my great grandmother, which is my mother's mm -hmm. mother, mm -hmm. Geneviève. Her name is Geneviève. Mm -hmm. um, she looks slim, just like my mom. Mm -hmm. um, I will never forget that day. I was living in my old apartment, and my mother was frying fish. Mm -hmm. um, and she was making fish, and she was making something that's a Haitian dish. Mm -hmm. And I was sleeping in the living room. And when I woke up, when you know when you're in between different realms when you're sleeping, mm -hmm. um, that's the that's the trend that I was in. So I woke up out of that trend and I seen the spirit. Mm. And I'm like, oh shoot, send the lady right at the door. <laughs> you know, I'm like oh. Just, just there, you know, just there. And I'm like, mm, okay, mm -hmm. probably I will see that spirit again. Right. And time after time, and time after mm -hmm. time, the mm -hmm. same spirit, my, my great-grandmother, she would come in a white dress and a crown, a white crown or mm -hmm. something white over, you know, her head and things of that nature. Um, and then even after that, I've got many readings where people have told me your great grandmother is there. I just like to test people because I already know that. Right, right, you know? right, 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 right. Um, 
So yeah, my my on my mother's side, you know, we all psychic. Right, right. Psychic, psychic, really. I can tell you another situation where my mother was had a dream about uh, my godmother mm -hmm. um, house in Haiti, mm. and her her house was getting robbed, and she dreamt it. Mm. And the very next day, her house got robbed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's that kind of stuff that I come from. I come from See, that particular type of bloodline and stuff. So, and, yeah. and, and, and then from the Go ahead. And you and you know a lot of you know it's 14 minutes after I was speaking with uh, Mama Ella Samori, mm -hmm. of course, and mm -hmm. you know and uh, of uh, Ella Samori on at YouTube. Make sure you check her out. And you mm -hmm. know a lot of people you know are afraid of the unknown. A lot of people are afraid of the unknown, and people gotta recognize oh. that the unknown does exist. It's not really spooky. It's just another energy form in another realm. Understanding that type of stuff, you know, it's very important that they understand that. You know, mm -hmm. and, uh, so so ex ex explain what spiritual life coaches do. How do they conduct and, and help people and guide people? Because you're a spiritual life coach also, and you're also a spiritual mm -hmm. destiny guide and reader. Please explain to mm -hmm. them how, how does this work for those who, the inquiring minds out there, please. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, for me, it's always, it's, it's always, you know, getting back to your God state, getting back to your original form. You get what I'm saying? Right. Getting back to that state of immortality. Mm -hmm. Getting back to not the spirit, but the soul. Mm -hmm. You understand? Because the spirit is nothing but energy. But we talk about the soul. The soul lives trillions and millions and whatever gazillions time ago, right? Mm -hmm. But the spirit is just the energy. So me, my main goal is to help people get back in connected with that soul, that mm -hmm. chi. You right. understand? Right. Um, and chi is this frequency and energy that flows through you. Mm -hmm. Um, And one of my main things is always, listen, don't second guess, don't second guess yourself. Always right. follow your spirit. Exactly. Don't second guess yourself. Always follow your spirit because to the extent that you follow your spirit is to the extent that, and when I say my spirit is the energy that you pick up from other people, right? right, right so to right. the extent that you follow your spirit is to the extent that you will not second and get yourself hence building a stronger communication with your soul you know your soul alignment mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. understand because a lot of people oh you know they they it's just like they just they just um discard that we are all spiritual mm -hmm. it's it, you know we're all spiritual we all have the gift but you gotta just tap in mm -hmm. you understand and that's one of the main things that i'll be teaching in my own online class yes. coming up speak about that online class just just finish just finish explaining that and how that how that works for people and how your online class is also going to help them to understand themselves from a whole nother level because like i said a lot of people are afraid of this because due to mm -hmm. re religious and due to the parents and what we've been trained to understand we've been taught to be afraid of the dark afraid of the this afraid of that when according to scientific studies the only two known fears is fear of falling and fear of a loud sound according to mm -hmm. their science on this realm here but you know please explain how your course is going to help guide people and because you're a spiritual life court your spiritual life coach how how is some because i've seen some of your testimonials which was very interesting that's a very interesting mm -hmm. testimony and some people will not believe it you know some people will call it spookism and all kind of craziness without understanding that they're the every the spirit is working it together with the physical also so please explain your course you know please first and foremost you know my my teachers what you know from from how i've been taught is not for everybody right you right. understand some exactly. people are going to gravitate to it and some people are going to be afraid of it right. i'm not here for the people that's afraid of it because i don't resonate in fear right i always tell my clients it's either you're going to it's either you fear it or you're going to go with it which one you can't fear it you can't fear the situation and, and go with it at the same time right. the universe doesn't work that that you're confusing the mental you're confusing the mind as a result of confusing the mind you're confusing your past and you're confusing the communication that you have with the ancestral realm right. so it's either you are with the spirituality or you're not however you all we also have to understand that you get what i'm saying we also have to understand that this 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 fear has been embedded in our dna mm -hmm. Yes. You understand since from from slavery from even before that you know less the slavery is kind of recent due to the amount of years that 
the Asiatic black person or the Asiatic people has been here. Let's be mm-hmm. honest with that, right? Mm-hmm. So even before all of that fear and stuff like that, you know, um, a lot of things have been happening with us genetically um, that we fear the unknown. We fear the, sp- the spirits and stuff like that, mm-hmm. um, and including even religion, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know, um, including even religion. However, uh, my class, the way I, I, I want to put my classes is, is basically, you know, um, approaching it on a holistic level, right? right. First of all, you got to understand diet. Right. Okay, mm-hmm. you have to understand diet. You have to understand the mechanism or the anatomy and the physiology of the mel- melanated body. You have to understand that the body is electrical. Mm-hmm. You have to understand that you got to feed the, the body electrical foods in order for the what pineal gland to be clicking. Mm-hmm. Clink, clink, you understand, like a light bulb, right? Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. once you feed the body this electrical foods and things of that nature, the pineal gland starts to work. As a result of the pineal gland working, mm-hmm. then um, the psychic abilities and spirituality then now begin to expand. Mm. Now, 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 on that point, it's 20 minutes after the hour right here on uh, Facebook Live with King Simon. I'm speaking to Mama Ella Samori. Of course, you can check her mm-hmm. out on YouTube. And, of course, you can check her out on IG and Nutritional Healer, uh, Healing, right? Yes. Nutritional Healing, right? Yes, Healing, and, Healing, and, and, Healing. And, and, mm-hmm. uh, yes. And, of course, your website is samorisherbs.com, right? Samorisherbs.com? Yes, yes. samorisherbs.com, now, yes. Now, for now. Uh, uh, yes, for now. As you say that, you know, as, as you say what you just said in regards to that you're uh, as far as holistic health now you're a certified holistic practitioner how whom have you studied with and who are some of your people some of your teachers in the holistic health realm and and, and well, why that's so important yeah it's good too I, I you know what too besides we're gonna get into that but besides um the dr africa and the dr sadie I received my bachelor's in nutrition and dietetics, good. which I don't good. even say about myself. I'll be forgetting because I'm self-taught. <laughs> I remember when you, you, know I remember when you were studying. I remember when you were studying. I remember you were going remember, to school. Remember, yeah. right? Remember, I graduated from Queens College. Yes, yes. Um, I received a four-year, you know, uh, institution, university or whatnot. Um, I did receive my bachelor's in nutrition and dietetics. However, prior to that, I went to... Um, to uh, BMCC, yes. and I received my associate in science. Mm. So I'm, I, I like the science and the food collaboration. Mm. Now, moving forward, my further studies, um, besides me self, you know, be, me being self-taught, mm-hmm. I did study under, I did, I did receive a certification um, under the elder uh, Dr. Africa. Mm-hmm. Of course, I was like really hardcore studying Dr. Sabia as well. Mm-hmm. So a lot of my nutrition, I read a lot of um, Arnold Eret books, um, Rational Fat, mm-hmm. Mucus Lives Diet, and things of that nature. Right. Right. You know, putting all of my little, putting my teachings mm-hmm. together. Right. Right. Hello. Uh, you know, the mucusless diet and mm-hmm. nature with Dr. Sadie studies and mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. being certified under Dr. Africa. My um, bachelor's in nutrition and diet and my own curriculum that I'm putting together, mm-hmm. 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 which I'm going to be teaching in my online class. Okay, good. Be, um, you know, sharing it. Share, well, yeah, I'm going to be teaching information on how to self-diagnose yourself. Right, right. Or how to do a self-diagnosis. Right. You understand, right. which is very, which is very in, uh, important to learn at this particular time because when you go to the medical institute, you know, you're not going to get feedback or you're not going to get results based on the melanated body. No, no. That, that's, that's already known for 500 or 100 years from now. Mm-hmm. What you're going to get is results based on the Caucasian body. Everything is studied based on the health of a Caucasian body. It's not based on the health of a melanated body. So if you know how to self-diagnose yourself and you know how to, you know, look out for certain things, then you can heal yourself. Mm-hmm. And, and a lot of people don't recognize that we can heal ourselves. Our body is a natural healing mechanism. And, you know, a lot of people think it's only the herbs that do it, but the herbs help to foster the condition for the body to do the healing. 
because even when we used to scrape our arms and and cut our arms, it heals itself. The scab shows up and everything. It starts to heal our body. So we got to recognize that the body is a natural heal. It can heal. And we got to foster that condition. And through the herbs and the holistic eating and the proper eating habits, this can happen. And I'm so proud that you are you are uh, excelling in what you're doing, you know. So proud of you, girl. <laughs> yeah. I'm excelling and I thank you you always been supportive of me but let me tell you something good brother yes you keep you keep let me tell you, you keep on break you keep on, you keep on breaking up uh, wait, wait you, you moved you moved you were breaking up you, you no, moved? I'm here, I'm okay here. okay go ahead. I'm here. go ahead your body what was the last thing you heard me say the body doesn't want to what the body what what was the last thing you heard me say no i said you said the body that's the last thing i heard you say go ahead let me tell well i said let me tell you something good brother you in the audience the body never wants want to die the body doesn't want to die it doesn't want to die okay the body the last thing. you know like a you know like an entity or a, 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 a parasite that doesn't within the body the physical body die mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying that's why with, with those that have melanin quote unquote in a sense it is so very easy for us to get rid of any type of toxins or the body just shake shifts and easily mm -hmm. boom we're healed again mm -hmm. within times with proper care and things of that nature because like i said the body doesn't want to die right. so if many of us have been dying from cancer from diabetes from high blood pressure mm -hmm. from whatever however you name it or whatever it's because of the poor choices or, or even just you know um false information right. not having an, a lot of knowledge right you right. get what i'm saying some people want the knowledge but they don't have the knowledge or some people want the knowledge but they got false knowledge and some people want the knowledge but they get in the knowledge based on another uh, race right, right you can't right. eat the same food and can't do the same food like a caucasian if you black Mm. And you got nappy hair like me. That's not gonna work. <laughs> right, 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 right. So, and I, I know and that, it is not. Right, and I know I know Dr. Sabi and Dr. Africa really promotes that the ethnic the ethnic health type of thing. You can't feed uh, a polar bear food to gorillas. <laughs> you can't do right. that, and vice versa. So I, I totally and, understand that. Yes. You know, so you know, um, many of us, especially during these times now. Mm -hmm. As the cosmic world or the cosmic universe is ascending, a lot of us, you know, those cells, those genetic cells, those DNA, you know, information within us is, is quickening. It's quickening, just like the earth is quickening, just like Dr. Blair used to say, the earth mm -hmm. is going from kindergarten to the eighth grade, mm -hmm. and so is our cells. Mm -hmm. So a lot of us do want this information, but unfortunately, there's some people that has, you know, been been get, receiving misinformation, and some people is just not getting the information that they want. But uh, people like me and people like you and people like other people are here on this planet to provide and just do our best with helping the world, I guess, be a better place. Like a Pisces one. The Pisces <laughs> will want the world just to be a better place. Am I right? That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's absolutely right. Now, you know, we just had a, a, a very interesting, in, during this Mercury retrograde that we're in, we just yes. had a very interesting thing that just happened as far as the solar eclipse. Of course, the, tra mm -hmm. the transition of one of our informative Baba, Dr. Dick Gregory, mm -hmm. who to me opened up a vortex. Now, what was mm -hmm. the downloads that you received? Because I know what type of downloads I was receiving during that whole period of time, but what was the downloads mm -hmm. that you received that the people can uh, at least learn from or be guided by because I know you're a spiritual life coach and also a spiritual destiny guidance a uh, guidance uh, or reader so please explain what did you and what did you uh what did you go through during that that time and what we're still going through as a matter of fact go ahead mm -hmm. honestly speaking you know during that time I the all the, what I was you know programming and downloading is listen self-identity and stay on mm, your path mm, exactly. self-identity stay on your path mm -hmm. self-identity stay on your path don't get distracted stop getting distracted stop you know stop looking worrying about what this person's doing worry about what that person's doing yes the baba has ascended mm -hmm. ascension or transition transition is a good thing right, it's right. not a bad thing you know what I'm saying? So a lot of us been weeping and sad and mm -hmm. it's what you weeping for. He's an ancestor now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You understand? Like mm -hmm. what you said with you know, yeah, you you give an acknowledgement and stuff like that. I mean, probably because 
I'm a little bit understanding about death, right. but to the extent that somebody dies, it's to the extent that a soul will be reborn again. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that solar eclipse, if you are in tune, it made us reborn again. You get what I'm saying? New opportunities, new new business ideas, new mm -hmm. self ideas. A lot of us had, like my last client, she was like, you know, this solar eclipse, just got me all stagnated and things of that nature. I said, well, you need to ground yourself mm. so that you could connect with that soul. Mm. Mm. You hear what I'm saying? That ether you. You understand? So mm. it's, mm -hmm. it's basically too, and as I'm just flowing with it, it's basically too just the balance between the masculine you and the spiritual you. Right. You are, you understand, or the feminine you. Right. You have the dark side or the yin and yang. You That's understand? Right. You have the light, which is the sun, which is the Christ, and then you have the moon. Right. You understand the emotional. So you have the fire, which we was in um, in Leo. Now we're mm -hmm. in uh, what should we call it? In um, in Virgo, opposite sign is what Pisces. Mm -hmm. that's, that's that's that moon energy, and then Virgo is that earth vibration. So that's the mama. You understand? So resonating or resurrecting that Christ, that fire, that chi, mm -hmm. and understanding the emotions that's coming through and to you. Mm -hmm. But you got to stay focused and you have to stay yes. on your path. Forget the, forget the people that's rioting. It not, you can't say forget, but do not be distracted mm. from the Charlottesville and this person and the KKK and you know? all. Let them niggas kill themselves. <laughs> what you worrying about that for? Stay on your path. We are in the times of ascension. Right. The mothership is raising and rising. Mm. Things are going down. They said, see, they said, do not look at the solar eclipse with your eyes. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Okay, because it, Guess what? A lot of us do not sun gaze. Right, that's I true. I used to sun gaze a whole lot. Yes. If you had you sun gaze, had many of us sun gaze yes. and receive the nutrients and the, the, the cosmic information from the sun, then we could have been able to look at the sun as it was shifting with no problem. No ray bands, no this, no that, <laughs> none of that. I didn't buy one of those glasses at all. I knew what to Come do. On. I knew exactly how you, to do it. We've been doing it. We've been doing that, it thousands that, of years. That, I'm telling you, that probably was like the super food for the tiny of land. It remind me, you know what it remind me of uh, when when there was a, when disasters hit, like when nine eleven hit. There was a bunch of a crazy ass flashlights going for like ten dollars, and <laughs> disaster kits was just being do. sold, was making money. That's all they was doing. Right, all they trying to do is get you to buy you some Ray Ban glasses. Come on, and I'm sure. The prices of Ray Bans went up. I'm sure. Of I'm course. sure. And, I'm sure. And they made a lot of money. Believe me. Some be, some people yeah, made their investments yeah. and did that, but you know, we've been, this a, a, a solar eclipse, lunar eclipse, all these things have been occurring for for over thousands and thousands of years, and we never had no glasses. <laughs> we just, never. We were just never able had to see no it. glasses. <laughs> glasses for what? <laughs> trying to flip the script now mama they trying to flip the script now Ella. Big poor thing they wow. trying to flip the script it ain't working but they trying to flip it you know it's a shame but let me let me yeah, add, you yeah. know 30, it's 32 minutes after the hour we're here with mama ella until 9 p.m new york time and that's 7 p.m i mean uh, 6 p.m pacific time and mama, mm -hmm. mama i wanted to ask you uh specifically especially about you said the the spirit chooses you now are these guides or spirit guides a part of the, mm -hmm. the, your bloodline, your ancestral bloodline? Well, I can't know. I can't, with the ones for me or the ones for my clients? The ones for my clients. The one for yourself and the ones for your client or, or myself. Because I know you've done a good reading for me and I've had other readings. And sometimes they'll tell me that my ancestors are all around me. And just you know, and talking to me, I'm just watching my back and all kinds of stuff. Uh, is, are they part? Are these spirit guys a part of the are coming out of your ancestral bloodline? No, they're actually coming from the client's 
ancestral bloodline. Yeah, that's what I'm talking. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, right. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 Okay. The, the, they're actually coming. They're actually the spirit guides and the ancestors of my clients. When I do my own channeling and when I get into my own zone, mm -hmm. those is my people. Okay. When I when I did a reading for you, King Simon, that was your that it's was your people. family. And that was your spirit guides coming to speak to me about you right. so any you know client of mine or whatnot that's the outcome i'm able to identify some mm -hmm. you understand or if a loved one made the transition i'm able to see it's not mine it's yours right, right. <laughs> you right. know and a, a lot mm -hmm. of, a lot of these people are very amazed because i mean i know you pointed certain key things that i still have written down and still recorded and i listen back every time and I, I i tell people when you do get readings try to if she can record it for you or you can record it yourself record them yeah. because you need to re go back and study what it said because i know you also spoke about my liver and all that and i've been going dealing with the liver curve the, uh, the burdock and all that kind of stuff which oh. is very interesting because it, it i needed that the yellow bird out yeah. and all that. And I never told her, but, but I heard this in another reading also from a doctor that told me Ooh. I needed it. Even Dr. Africa looked in my eyes and said I certainly needed certain things for liver and kidney and all that kind of stuff. And then I went to another spiritual reading that said this basically the same thing. So everything seemed to collect and correlate with each other. And even, mm -hmm. even when I do numbers on people, it can correlate with what she says. And she's doing it from a whole nother modality. I'm doing it from a mathematic modality because all of them seem to have this connected thread that helps to guide you and helps to guide all the people out there. So I do tell people to invest and give that donation to people like yourself. Go to her website at, of course, temporary website right now, samoriesherbs.com. Also, you go to her YouTube and check out her testimonials and her readings at uh, YouTube at uh, Mama Ella at YouTube. Mama Ella Samori at, uh, well, it's Ella Samori at YouTube, correct? It's, Ella yes, it's Ella Samori, yeah. At, at and, YouTube. And, um, and then my, uh, my email address. Oh, yes. What is that? My email address is Samori Healing. So it's Samori, my last name, mm -hmm. S A M like mom, mm -hmm. O R Y S Healing, H E A L I N G at gmail dot com. That is the best way. Mm -hmm, that is the best way to contact me. Or you can, you know, call me on my business line mm -hmm. um, at 646-780-9488. And I want to thank you, King Simon, for, um, you know, bringing people through because <laughs> I get a lot of texts from people that you recommended as well. So I want to really, that, truly thank you for what, 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 that what, 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 that Repeat that number again. That's 646-780-94 what? Eight, eight. Eight, eight. Yes. Well, you know, let me tell you, I tell people and I'm, I'm very true to what I do. And I'm not the yeah. type of person that try to steal other people's clients. I try to guide people to where yeah. my strengths are not where that is. And although I know I can do it, but that my strength is where my strength is where the numbers. And if I see that people, my clients need certain guidance, I guide them to somewhere else. If I see you need guidance mm -hmm. to KT or need guidance to Dr. Africa or Ella or need guidance to mm -hmm. certain other spiritual readers or, or consultation, mm -hmm. even Hebrew and Christo Christian ones, I guide you to because I understand mm -hmm. you might be at that level. That's where you at. And that's what mm -hmm. you need that guidance for because people are at various levels, Ella. And you notice yeah. sometimes they can't accept certain things or they won't, they're kind of scared. To, they, they'll tell you, I know many times you've gotten where, you know, I was kind of scared to come to you or scared to call you or connect yeah. with you because of this and because they think it's the devil and all this kind of stuff that they've been taught. You know, mm -hmm. it's just, it's, and people got to overcome fear, F false, mm -hmm. a, a false expectations appearing real. You know what I'm saying? That's all fear is. Stop. And and everything we want is on the other side of fear, to tell you the truth. Everything we want is on the mm -hmm. other side of fear. But, you know, pl please, mm -hmm. please explain about the spiritual destiny reading and that whole breakdown. Well, yeah. before, before we get into that, right, uh, get into that, when people come to me and they say, oh, I'm scared and I'm scared, before I say, let me tell you something. This pastor that has came to me several mm -hmm. times, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. So if a pastor mm -hmm. who do the conjugation, mind you, they give you tips. Right. Listen, I'm nobody, I don't, I'm like, this is not nobody's business. I don't, you know, spread my client's business to the, to be private, I okay. respect that. Of course. So I'm saying, mm -hmm. hey, hello? No, hey, go ahead, I got you. 
I'm just saying this to say that. Um, I'm just saying this to say that there's no reason to be fearful of. Um, everything that you're fearful is on the other side. Mm-hmm. So, um, going back to this part of my astrological reading, mm-hmm. um, into your where I check into your true node, right? And once you once once I know where your true node is in, I just download so much information from your true node. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's based on your you know astrological sign. So that's basically a natal chart reading. Right, right, right. Right. Mm-hmm. So when you get a natal chart reading, I you know look into different forms and stuff like that because a lot of people say, well, um, a lot of people most of the questions that I get asked is, well, Ella, uh, Mama Ella, what not what is my purpose mm. and if i don't give you a uh, a natal chart reading i always say to my clients well if this was a perfect world what would you be doing mm. you know oh well i'll be healing i'll be doing this well then that's your purpose <laughs> and, and, and then i and then i say to them well i say to them well it's not a matter of what is it what is it that i'm supposed to be doing ask you what is it that you want to do Mm. because whatever it is that you want to do is what you should be doing and it it is what your spirit is guiding you to do right see with me i don't work i don't consider myself a worker i'm not a worker i provide services Services, you understand it's kind of a little bit different i'm not i'm not providing services i don't work i don't feel like what i'm doing is working i'm helping i'm healing and I'm guiding, mm-hmm. and that's my purpose. Mm, mm. And that, and that's that's a good to, that, that you're providing services. As being born under the number you are, you're supposed to be of service and help to the people. So I totally understand. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's why I tell people, number don't lie. It just correlates with what they're doing out there, what all the, all the readers and all the people that are doing the things. And it's very important that if you are going through certain things, certain spiritual things that you need to understand, because a lot of people think they're either cursed or they have some problems the proclivity and all that kind of stuff which is basically the same word so so p- people think that they're going through that when people think automatically as soon as they come to you that they're cursed they have some type of family or generational curse what is it what do you do what what do you tell what do you tell them how do you explain that it's not a generational curse or something has been put how do you explain this to them first of all thoughts are thoughts are things right exactly all right exactly and whatever it is that you are faithful or faith faithful, if that's even a world or word or <laughs> anything that you have faith faith in or whatnot mm-hmm. is what becomes mm-hmm. you get what I'm saying? Right, right. So first of all thinking like that, right? <laughs> um, because that is what land or that is what melanin is you're you're feeding that those that those thinking to yourselves, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So once you feed the energy to yourselves then the body now reacts in that way, right? right? Because the building blocks of the tissues and body cell. So it all starts with the cellular make you know, then first of all, I would say first, you know, stop thinking. Um stop thinking like that. And then two, I would look you know, I would connect with spirit guides and see or whatnot because sometimes people do be having curses and sometimes people do be having this in a sense family curse. Mm-hmm. You know, somebody might have did something wrong and had to, you know, pay it back, triple the fold. Mm-hmm. You know, mm, that's that's interesting because a, a lot well, of people, suffering. Mm-hmm. a lot of people go through those different types of things that could have been passed down generationally. You're saying exactly. That's why I said triple the fold. Right, 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 mm-hmm. right, right, right. That's so. why I said triple the fold. So absolutely. However, the way that you break by not believing in that. I don't time one of my jetness told me I don't care if you keep you keep on breaking up, Ella. You, you keep on breaking up. Repeat that again. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. You you you're just broke yeah, but you're back on now. Go ahead, speak. I said I don't remember I I, I said I remember one time my jet now, one of my jet mm-hmm, mm-hmm. she said to me she said to me, she said, Ella, she said, I don't care if it's a fire outside, if it's a war outside, if it's chaos outside, do not believe what you see. Mm-hmm. Because whatever it is that you believe in becomes real. And sometimes it's due to the fact that they have all this holographic memory and technology, I mean not memory, but holographic 
uh, situations going on mm -hmm. and they can create just no, 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 <laughs> Do not believe it. If you understand, it's mm -hmm. a trick. The Matrix done told you that, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. Um. So listen, it's all about believing. If you believe that your, your family's been cursed and stuff, you want to feed the pineal gland with that information, then the pineal gland will be receptive to that. Mm -hmm. You know, and this secretes melatonin or melanin cells or cells that has that, you know, particular, you know, uh, uh, frequency with, with, with fear in it, mm -hmm. fear and melanin, which mm -hmm. don't even go together. Mm -hmm. And as a result of fear and melanin going, because that's the energy, that's, that's the spirit that you're giving off to the body, then guess what? That's mm -hmm. how you're going to be living in fear, in, in the name of fear, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in the name, in the spirit of fear. Mm. Spirit, spirit is energy. Energy is spirit. That's it. For, 44 minutes after the hour, 44 minutes after 8 o'clock in New York, 44 minutes after 5 o'clock in Pacific time, and 44 minutes all over the world after the hour. And, you know, let me tell you, we're, we're speaking to uh, Mama Ella, Ella Samori. Mm -hmm. Make sure, make sure you email her at, of course, Samori's Healing at gmail.com. And you can also call her and contact her on her business line, which is 646-780-9488. That's 646-780-9488. Now, uh, now yeah. for, it's 45 minutes after the hour, 15 minutes before the top of the hour. Ella, now, you know, this is a lot of people, being that we all come, a lot of us come from out of Africa originally or from the Caribbeans and all that. You you know, a lot of us used to hear about voodoo and obia and all these different types of things. And they put a negative connotation on it when at one point, I know IET and Jamaica used to work together and voodoo was used at mm -hmm. one time. And it helped mm -hmm. to defeat the French army. You know what I'm saying? So the, mm -hmm. so, so tell, them, tell people the importance of that, that science why people should not be afraid from, of voodoo or obia in its positive sense because they've made it negative mm -hmm. over the years. Okay. Okay, give me one second. Give me yeah. as well, but I heard it. I'm trying, let me see if I can uh, put you on a Wi-Fi course so we don't break up like that. Um, mm -hmm. So the importance on uh, not being afraid of Voodoom, okay, mm -hmm. um, is because one, voodoo only means worshiping or connect. It means what? Say that again. My ancestors. Can you hear me? No, yeah, what does it It means what? Connecting with your ancestors. Oh, get out of here. I didn't know that. That's interesting. <laughs> okay. Well, that's my definition. Oh, that's it. your dude. Okay, okay, okay. That's, you get what I'm saying? That's my <laughs> oh, that's, that's okay, my, okay. That's your definition. <laughs> okay. Coming from a Haitian descent, the way we, the way my family and stuff like that, voodoo, we just, we, I'm in nice, we used to have ritual nights in, in Brooklyn, in my cousin's house, that family, my cousin, what, we used to spit libations and give stuff like that, and, mm -hmm. you know, people will come, mm -hmm. and, you know, and, and some people, oh, you, y'all doing voodoo in there, but for us, it's like, no, we're connected with our, now, another thing that a lot of us um, look into whenever we voodoo things, um, look at that revolution in 18, 1804, right? Mm -hmm. um, they defeated the French. They defeated the quote-unquote bad enemies. They didn't defeat the bad enemies because only be um, due to technology. No, right. they did rituals. They right. connected with the spirit realm. You would see it. They got drums. They got fire. Like you mm -hmm. would see pictures of it. Mm -hmm. I have pictures, you know, uh, not pictures of ancient mm -hmm. rather. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. There will be paintings of a group of black folks, or even doing, you know, animal sacrifices and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. This is the reason why we shouldn't be afraid of it because when you do sacrifice, it is feeding. Just like you feed yourself, you feed your spirit, mm -hmm. you also want to feed your ancestors. Mm -hmm. Because like I always say, like when I want to connect with, you know, when I need a little bit of financial wealth or whatnot, I connect with my sister. Why? Because my sister who made the transition, she likes money. So mm -hmm. what do I do? I offer her money. Right, right. You want to say, so you cannot, you, I can't say that you cannot, but it's not culturally or it's not um, you know, uh, it's not proper etiquette to ask 
the spirit realm to help you out without giving any type of offering. Right, so right. in the 1804, they would, you know, uh, uh, do pig offerings and blood sacrifice and stuff like that because that's you, you they gotta get they gotta get nasty they mm -hmm. gotta get devilish right. so it's these type of sacrifices that they had to do to connect with the um the spirit of that country that land mm -hmm. okay okay that's deep that's deep that's interesting so you know go ahead no, i said that's interesting that you say that yeah. because i know that yeah because you you was dealing with a beast coming on your island in the first place so you had to you had to deal with mm -hmm. that and and meet their meet them with the same propensity that they was bringing, and I exactly. I heard that that one of the Haitian generals uh, from back in the day was such was so feared by the French army. It was Ivan Van Sertema that explained it that he was he killed so many French men back in those days that when he was not going to let them take him alive that he went and walked into a burning house and let himself just get consumed by the fire while he was still laughing that's how yeah. and they was afraid of just that that's how much power that the voodoo or the spiritual energy let's say the spiritual energy of that time was so strong in the the, the Haitian revolution that that's what that man did and then i heard about a female general that was even much more vicious so mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, y'all y'all had some people out there that did that for sure. <laughs> but see, but exactly, but see, and that's why they fear us to this day. Yes. But yes. see, but see, we would not have did it if we would have been on this mm -hmm. new age. Oh, we scared of the spirit realm. Right, oh, we right, scared, right, oh, right, oh, right. Oh, right. oh, right. oh, no, unseen. Oh, no, no, what? Right. Right. You have what? to tap in. You have to tap into that energy. Those those are like what in the scriptures they say the mm -hmm. armor of God. Those are some of the armors that you got to use, the internal armors and the external armors that we have to use, you know? And a lot of people do the it- The armor, the legs, the, <laughs> the, the, the stomach. <laughs> you need the whole armor of God, all covering the whole body. And you know, a lot of people, a lot of people in religion does it. You know, a lot of people, they say certain prayers or they do certain chants and they doing the same thing that they did back in those days, you know, those certain chants and all that kind of stuff and certain sacrifices, but they call it religion today. You know, 10 minutes before the hour, 10 minutes before the matter of fact, nine minutes before the top of the hour, we're speaking with Mama Ella Samori. You can check her out on Ella Samori on YouTube. You can check her out on IG at Nutritional Healing uh, uh, at IG and also Ella Samori right here on Facebook. And also you can email at Samori's Healing at gmail.com or you can contact her for any spiritual services for the herbs that she offers she has some very good detox herbs that you can get from her and you can call her at 646-780-9488 that's 646-780-9488 and you know ella before we finish we got like nine to eight more minutes um please inform the people of what is necessary for the years to come especially spiritually what people need to do what type of bath they need to take and you know and how important it is that they need to at least do all the spiritual work as well as the physical work please explain to them and tell well first of all first of all the soul is not going to rest easy if it's, if you're not fulfilling your spiritual destiny mm -hmm. um a lot of us are are working jobs that we don't even want to get up for mm -hmm. you understand so you're, most of us are living lives of resistance mm -hmm. right um, even in relationships, some of us are in relationships that we don't even want to be in, right? right? So the first thing that you want to do is just keep it real with yourself, right? Mm -hmm. The second thing, like like a drug program, you got to admit that you got a problem. Mm -hmm. So, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, yeah. the first thing that you want to do is keep it real with yourself and understand what it is that you want to fulfill and want to do. That's the first step. The second step is always taking a clearing bath. You know, mm. um, I can't say specifically what type of clearing bath because right. everybody has a different type of clearing bath. But a spiritual bath, at least once a month mm -hmm. of clearing yourself from other people's energy, as well as clearing yourself from a toxic environment that you mm -hmm. may be in mm -hmm. is, you know, is um, recommended mm -hmm. during these times. Right. And then two, 
you know, we got to get back to this, like, plant-based diet type mm-hmm. of thing. At least right. eat a salad, raw food for, like, you know, a day or two. You don't got to eat the raw or place of dishes, but eat salad, green food, you know? Mm-hmm. Help yourself. Some of us, we just got to help ourselves. Right. When a lot of us are feeling sluggish and, and don't want to get up out the bed and right. we just agitated and something and whatever, and we don't want to be bothered, not even with our kids. Right. We want to come home and not even cook. <laughs> you want to get you some great, no, it'd be real in the field. You want to get you some green juice. You want to say, if you, if you can't do it, at, if you can't, um, do it at home. There's many different stores, or especially around New York City, the low roster stores or whatnot, that they can juice you a good green juice. You That's know, right. just invest in yourself. And then two, you know, um, definitely if you need spiritual guidance and spiritual health, invest in that. Right. You know, to help you. If you don't know your own purpose, if you don't know what to do, if you feel lost or you feel this or you feel that, invest in yourself. Because a lot of us, we can pay for it, but we don't want to. Right, and that's right. where the chaos happens, where the problem happens. So my message mm-hmm. um, in closure is just to love yourself, mm-hmm. be honest with yourself, stay focused, start eating right. And as a result of you eating right, you thinking right, you feeling right, you're, you're surrounded by loving people that's going to uplift you, support you. You get what I'm saying? Everything, if, if, if your loved one is not on the same level as you are spiritually, then that person got to go. Mm. It's time for you to go your separate way and find your good luck elsewhere. If you continue to stay in the same situation that you are in, then guess what? You're digging yourself deeper into that rabbit hole like Alice in Wonderland. Mm, mm, Very good. It is five minutes before nine o'clock. We want to thank our beloved friend and my my beloved friend and our beloved spiritual life coach and whole Holistic consultant and spiritual destiny guide, the one the Yona Mama Ella Samori. Yes. Thank you very much, sister. You want to shout oh. out anybody or anything or anybody, huh? <laughs> uh, shout out to everybody that's you know tuned in. Tell me, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> You're shout right. Shout out to you, King Simon. Thank you. Shout man. out to you, King Simon. <laughs> shout out to Sister Malika Ali, because that's my, you know, that's yeah. my, my Scorpion sister. Yeah. You know, I don't know who's on the queue. Don't worry, shout you'll out see. to everybody that's supporting me. Yeah. You know, I have a lot of followers and a lot of people that come and tell me, Mama Ella, you changed my life just mm-hmm. from watching your video. Mm-hmm. Shout out to people that love me. I right. love you too. Shout out to everybody that I don't know that loves me, that right. loves me. Right. I mean, I don't, you know. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. I'm going to post it on, post this on my YouTube. I'm going to download yes. it, post it on my YouTube. And if you want me to send it to you, I'll send it to you also. No problem. Okay. Okay. All right. Indeed, well, beloved. Well, well, thank you very much, my beautiful sister, for joining us. Yes. And uh, please have a great evening. And whatever oh, you yes. do, just do it. Do it safely. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And and actually, um, I might be going live on my YouTube channel in about fifteen to ten minutes as well. Okay, so, and that's gonna be know, Ella but, Samori uh at YouTube, right? Yes, Ella Samori at YouTube on YouTube. Oh, mm-hmm. Okay, no problem. Well, thank you very much, my sister. All right. Create a bless. Create a bless. That's our, that's our goodbye, my sis. Uh, that's my good friend and good friend, spiritual spiritual uh, life coach and holistic health practitioner and consultant and spiritual destiny guide, my girl Ella Samori. You can hit her up on Facebook. You can hit her. Yeah, she. We just did the interviews uh, three minutes before the topic on. And like I said, I don't I don't do no long interviews, family. I come from a radio background. My sister Nicole Brown was on radio. My my cousins uh, uh my cousin in Jamaica on my father's side. Uh, Derek Wilkes is on radio. Uh, we from R- on RJR, and you know you gotta know when to interview and put people in and put them out. Some people they on blog talk doing three hour interviews and all that. Look, I ain't got that much. I ain't got that much to promote. We got things to do. We got keep. There's a lot of hours in those things. But remember, you can hit up Ella at um, Samori's Health. That's S A M O R Y S Herbs. That's Samori's Herbs. Dot com. That's a temporary website, S-A-M-O-R-S-H-E-R-B.com. You could also hit up on IG, that's uh, Instagram, that's Nutritional Healing dot, uh, at IG. Also, she's at uh, Ella Samori right here on Facebook. Also, you can email at Samori's 
healing at gmail.com. That's S A M O R Y S healing at gmail.com. Or you can give her a call or text her at 646 780 9488. Once again, that's 646 780 9488. That's right. Our, our sister Ella was in the building. If you ain't been here, you ain't see it. Also, if you want to get my book on Kindle and Amazon, the number that you can go to Amazon and Kindle, numbers are simple, people are complicated. King Simon's book is a big seller, it's selling big. I won't say it's a number one seller, but it is selling good. All right, numbers are simple, people are complicated. That's that's one of my books. Also, you can get my other book, um, Numbers Are Simple, Children's Health is Important. That's Numbers Are Simple, Children's Health is Important. Both uh, Queen of Four and Lloyd Strayhorn and Natosha, the number Swami does a forward in my book. And, uh, you know, I big up a lot of people in the book also. I also get re got references of other books that you should read. And, you know, if you want a numerology consultation, uh, you please text me your full name and dirty birth at 347-496-1022. That's 347-496-1022. 1022 if you want a numerology consultation with me that's very important that you can get that done this is a special advertisement rate it's two dollars a minute a minimum of 35 minutes so that's 70 dollars for the whole 35 minutes and uh believe me we go in it's a disservice to do just twenty dollars or ten dollars very much a disservice because i read your whole name and i read your birthday then i give you what's the good and the positive and the negative and believe me it's a conversational consultation with me and those who have supported me knows that's what we get into and then you can ask questions regarding health relationship whatever personal stuff and and we and like i say numbers point out a lot of that personal stuff to me already although i don't pry I don't try to get into your molestation or whatever you've gone through since you was young and all that, because a lot of people keep it hidden. But it tells me that either you've gone through it or somebody's attempted it or all that kind of stuff. The numbers tell me a lot when it comes in. And, and I'm just here to guide you. I'm not here to tell you your future. I'm not here to tell you your past. I'm just here to guide you so you can make better decisions mathematically and how to understand the connection to the numbers. You know what I'm saying? So that's all I'm here to do as far as a numerologist or a numerologics consultant. Just want to let you know, of course, those that are going to be in Atlanta with me, please, please get those early bird tickets. Those are $10 in advance. The love, love gift is $10 in advance, $20 at the door. Doors open at 430. And I'll be in Atlanta September 3rd, September Sunday, September 3rd at Cool Breeze Smoothie and Juice Bar with Jasmine Little, my son, Shia Allah Brown himself, Shia Enoch Brown. He's an investor. He'll be speaking about health building, uh, wealth building and money management. And I will be speaking about numerologics and health, how to understand it from your name and your birthday. I'm going to do it old school. He's going to do it with the, uh, with the, um, with the PowerPoint. I'm going to do it old school because I can do the PowerPoint, but I want to do it old school for a reason. So people can, we can actually interact and people can learn and write down. So if you're coming to any of the events, please bring your notebook, pad and pen, and you can RSVP in Atlanta, Georgia at 678-713-4377. That's 678-713-4377. And also, I'll be coming to North Carolina, North Carolina, North Click, North Kakilaki. I'm coming September 9th, that's Saturday, September 9th. We'll, I will be speaking on Numbers Don't Lie mini workshop on understanding how to use simple numerologics in health, relationship, business, and emergency matters. So I'm going to be speaking briefly about emergency matters. That'd be my first time speaking in North Carolina and my first time speaking officially in Atlanta. And I will be speaking with business owner and my great former wife, Amunet uh, Ray Hotep. And she'll be speaking on family health and structure. For more information, you could call them at North, in North Carolina at Charlotte, North Carolina at All Eyes on Egypt at 1107 B uh 1107 dash B Beatty's uh Ford uh Road and that's Washington Heights, North Carolina, and their number is 704-953-3956. That's 704-953-3956. It is ten dollars in advance and fifteen dollars day of the show, and of course it's from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. and I will be in North Carolina at all eyes. 
on Egypt. That will be a great spot to come on out and enjoy yourself. Also in September, before I close out, remember September 24th, Baba Heru tribute, the Unk Man. We're doing a tribute to him. Tickets are available at Nicholas Brooklyn and Nicholas Harlem. Special guest speakers will be Queen of Four, Baba Jabari, Osaze, uh, Dr. Anika will be passing through, his wife, uh, Yende, Yendez Nefer, Nefer Atum, and many others from like under the Temple of Anu from all over the world will be showing respect. Don't be surprised if Wesley Snipes or Erica Badu sends a vid video shout out to him. Don't be surprised. But I know Baba Phil Valentine will be sending a video shout out to him. It's 25 at the door and $20 in advance. Make sure you go to Nicholas Brooklyn Black Lady Theater at 750 Notion Avenue, Nicholas Brooklyn, over there at 1396 Fulton Street between Brooklyn and New York, and Nicholas Harlem over there at 5 East 125th Street between Madison and 5th Avenue. And if you want to vend at any of the events, please call me or text me at 347-496-1022. You can text me at any of the events. For any vending, um, you can do that. Also, Phil, Baba Phil Valentine is coming in on October the 29th. If you can't see it clearly, it's all right. Uh, October 29th, Baba Phil Valentine will be coming to New York City again to refill with Phil, speaking on the re-engineering of gender, part two, 2.0, because it's getting even deeper and deeper with the re-engineering of gender. It's $35 tickets right now at uh, Nicholas Brooklyn and Nicholas Harlem. Also, you can get it via PayPal. If you text me at 347-496-1022, I will send you the information for PayPal for faster service. Make sure you come on to PayPal. And you can either go to King Simon Productions at Eventbrite, King Simon Productions at Eventbrite, and you will see the Phil Valentine event for October 29th. It is $35 tickets right now. And don't forget, November 12th, Dr. Africa comes back to New York City with his beautiful wife, Dr. Melanie. We're going to be doing a classroom setting, so we're going to set the seats up in a semi-circle, and we're going to work it just like that, but we want it to be very interactive with Dr. Africa, and especially Dr. Melanie. She's very interactive when it comes to that. That's going to be November 12th. That's a Sunday, and don't forget the weekend. Of course, we're doing a tribute to Rakim Allah, the Black Power Awards, the second annual Black Power Awards after party and tribute to Rakim Allah. And that's going to be in Atlanta, Georgia, hosted by Suni Patterson and Zoe Williams. And I heard a special guest host will be David Banner again. He hosted it last year. And it's going to be at 595 North Avenue, Northwest Atlanta, Georgia. The phone number there, if you want to vend, please call them at 404 Four three nine one zero four four. That's four zero four four three nine one zero four four. Remember, it's all about African and cultural attire that that day for the whole weekend. And remember, you could go to their website at www.blackpowerawards.com. Big up the DJ and the whole family out there that's doing it. And in the month of December, my twenty second anniversary in productions and promotions, I will have Baba Ashra Kwesi as soon as he confirmed. We will make sure we got him in the building and more likely we're going to do it at the Black a Lady Theater right there at 750 um, Nostrand Avenue, right in the heart of Brooklyn, right there, baby, right between Park Place and Sterling. I love you. I respect you. This will be posted on fa uh, Facebook. So please share, please share, please share, because Mama Ella gave some great advice. Mama Ella was, is a spiritual life coach, holistic health consultant, and spiritual destiny guide. She will. She gave a lot. So please, please share this. Also, it will be on my YouTube channel. That's King Simon Presents. That's King Simon Presents on YouTube. Hit me up on Instagram. That's King Simon Productions. Hit me up on WhatsApp. That's King Simon. Simon numerology. It hit me up on um, uh, Facebook. That's King Simon Production. Like that page. Join that page. Also, King Simon, MC Simon. You could hit me up if you want to be my friend. I think King Simon is already filled. So if you want to be my friend, hit me up at MC Simon. M, the letter C, and Simon, S-I-M-O-N, on Facebook. If you want to be my friend, I do post on that all the time. And also, if you want to hit me up on Twitter, that's King Simon Prod at Twitter. And remember, go to my website, kingsimonproductions.wordpress.com. That's kingsimonproductions.wordpress.com. One love, one aim, one destiny. And remember, get my books, baby. Get my books. My books are on sale on Amazon and Kindle. And that's what it is. That's how we're doing it. I love you, respect you, and stay at peace. This has been the Stats Show on Facebook. And stats mean serious 
thinking, serious thoughts awakens critical thinking. Serious thoughts awaken critical thinking. One love, one aim, and one destiny. Stay at peace.